Hey, it's Vacuus, and I just want to thank you guys for 265 followers. I love you guys so much. Okay, I'm in shock. I'm in awe. Uh, as of October 17th, uh, I reached 265. Bless you all. Happy birthday, Chris Motionless. Stefan Jenkins, you won the bet. Let's get into the video when we're talk because we're going to be talking about the most vaporwave band I found through Facebook ads. Okay. And this band is Keem, all right? C-H-E-E-M. Yeah, you heard that right, Keem. Um, basically, they're from Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, Spotify describes them as emo, pop punk. I like to describe them as shoegaze. You know, that's just how I hear them. They remind me of, like, Lydia. And um, they kind of also remind me of just garage bands, to be honest. <laughs> that's what they kind of remind me of. Um, so, yeah, just they, they have that 90s aesthetic with the 2000s, 2000s aesthetic, and it kind of just wraps together pretty well. And also just, you know, I'm going to be talking about the album Downhill, their new album. So with that being said, the cover art for this is very Vaporwave. <laughs> just their aesthetic is Vaporwave. This album just, it, it takes in some Vaporwave elements, but it isn't just Vaporwave. It isn't just those, like, 80s remixes. By that, I mean they got the 90s vibe to a T, but they make it modern, okay? They incorporate that part of Vaporwave, just the, like, technical stuff, not the actual outcome. <laughs> the actual outcome for this album is Shoegaze. And um, that's just how I see this album. It's pretty good, to be honest, in my opinion. All right? <laughs> that's just my opinion, though. I cannot apply my formula for these album reviews to this album because I get so lost into it. Even on my fourth time listening to this whole entire thing through, it is 42 minutes, uh, probably 43. Spotify may be lying to me. Maybe like 42 minutes and 50 seconds. Um, you know, with those 42, 43 minutes, there are 15 songs. And every time like I listen to it over and over through, I can't, you know, just redline it, like, you know, have everything, like, have all the song names on a board, just, like, put, like, red yarn to, like, each point. You know, I can't do that with this album, and I can't form, like, this very coherent story from my listening to it, because I just get lost, and it turns into, you know, some weird vaporwave aesthetic. It turns into, like, my own issues. It turns into those kinds of things rather than just some random story I'm making up. You know, that's how I see this album. And that's what makes it kind of hard when I said, hey, you know what, I want to talk about this album, okay? I want to raise awareness about Downhill by Keem because they've been working on this for two years and they're just such an interesting band and they just have that 90s aesthetic and they brought it to the modern age and added, like, you know, that aesthetic and made it modern to an extent that is good, actually. It doesn't seem like they're trying too hard, that they're over-influenced. They know how to take their um, influences and put them together in such a way that it sounds unique. And even though that took two years for them, those two years were not wasted with this album. And that is just how I feel about it. And that's why I'm not doing my usual, like, crap with this, because... It is something I cannot really explain. It is um techni it has the technical side of vaporwave and it has but it has the outcome of shoegaze. So if you enjoy shoegaze, pop punk, emo, you know, all that fun jazz, if you like Lydia, Constance, um, I think probably a little bit of Joyce Manor too, like I think you would enjoy this album. Um that's really all that I have to say about that. It's it's just for fans of those kinds of bands and they have such an aesthetic and is this I don't even know okay like <laughs> that's just how I interpret this I see myself in this album okay it reflects whatever you know you are basically you know it's it's a reflector album what can I say um <laughs> You can get lost in the songs and you can relate to some songs more than others and it's just a good vibe. You can fall asleep to this album. <laughs> you can just chill out, okay? I imagine listening to this in the summer. It's weird that was released in fall, but I can just imagine listening to it in the summer. I can imagine Keem on Warp Tour. <laughs> that's how. I, that's what I imagine Keem doing. I don't think Keem would be down with that. I don't know, man. I'm sorry if you're not down with that, Keem. Or just actually um, a festival in general. You know, I can see Keem being at a music festival, and that's the kind of stuff that would be playing. You know, I can I can imagine that, okay? Um, obviously, they won't be playing these 15 songs. They'd probably have to, you know, tone it down to five or six, but, you know, that, that's just how I envision this album, okay? 
you're on a road trip, you're at a music festival, um, your girlfriend just broke up with you, you, you have a crush, but, you know, you're not, they, they don't like you back. <laughs> you know, that, that's basically what this album really, um, you know, shouts at me. And I can't pin a whole entire story. And that sucks. But with that being said, my favorite songs off this album are Jacu- you know, Jacuzzi is a single I first heard. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I tend to forget names, so I'm looking at a list. I'm sorry that I forget names all the time. <laughs> but yeah, my favorite songs are Game Boy Color and 3D for sure. I think 3D is like my fave for sure, actually. Monster Gorp also interests me, but mostly 3D is my number one, and then it's Game Boy Color, then it's Monster Gorp, okay? That's like my jams right there. Uh, and also I talked to someone else that listened to this album and they said Game Boy Color also <laughs> um, spoke to them. So yeah, obviously uh, this whole entire album is worth a listen. It's 15 songs though. It's 43 minutes. Uh, every inch that every inch of work, every minute of work, every sort of unit of work they put into this did matter. You know, it did turn out to be it, it has a good outcome, okay? And it's just an interesting album to listen to. Like I said, it's a chill album. Don't expect to mosh to this. Don't expect to play this at a house party and expect, like, heavy dancing. Heavy dancing? What the fuck does that even mean? I don't expect that from this album. You know, some al- some of this stuff is upbeat, but it is overall a chill vibe, okay? It is not new politics, okay? You can't, dan- you can't really dance to this as you would with new politics or, um you know, basement, so to say. Um, it just really encapsulates, like, a Lydia vibe, Paris, Constance. I'm, I'm naming, I don't think, yeah, Lydia's, I, th- I don't know if Lydia's from the U.S. Um, I, I think I just mostly named New England bands. You know, they kind of remind me of, you know, Lydia, Constance, Paris, uh, those kinds of bands, for sure. Um, and, yeah. I, I want to say that they remind me of another kind of band. Maybe like Pacific. Yeah. Also like Pacific. Okay. Those are the four bands they remind me of. With that being said, in, you know, you can't really mosh to those bands. You can dance to some songs those bands make, but don't expect to get like a heavy dance album from this or a heavy album that you can mosh to. And that's all that I really have to say about Keem's Downhill. Um, my whole entire vibe from this. This has smooth transitions. It just has a very shoegaze, 90s-esque vibe. That's really all I have to say about it. I'm kind of ditzy, so I'm sorry if this was kind of repetitive, but, you know, I I can't do this with my actual format, and that kind of sucks. But yeah, if you can find a way to do this with my format, then go ahead and... Um, you know, tell me about it. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, that is all I have to say about Downhill by Keem. I give this album probably an 8, 8.7. You know, I'm going for the uh, review bra uh, ratings. <laughs> you know, it gives me, it, I, well, I give it, <laughs> damn it, I, I give it an 8.7 out of 10 wild berries. Yeah. That, that's all I'd have to say. You have to listen to it for yourself for sure. Um, yeah, like I said, chill album. Can't do it with my format. Uh, if this was more upbeat, I probably could maybe. I don't know. Um, I, I guess only some sort of alternate universe could tell me that. But I do recommend this. And yeah, I hope you have a lovely day. Peace out, hug a tree. Maybe get in that jacuzzi. I don't know, um, it's like 50 degrees out, so, I, I, well, in Massachusetts, it's 50 degrees out, so I don't think a lot of people would be doing that. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I'm gonna go now. Thank you for watching.